In this video, I'm going to share with you what you need to do to create, publish and sell books on Amazon KDP that sell tens of thousands of copies every single month. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to join me here. I have some really exciting books that I want to share with you today that are going to give you such a good insight into what you need to do to create a series or a brand of books that sell like hotcakes on Amazon. Whenever I share successful brands or successful books in my videos, I try really hard to find all sorts of different books, books that are hard to make, books that are easy to make, books that are for adults, books that are for kids, books that are completely free to create that anyone can create, or books that you do need specialized tools to be able to create them. And I do that so that I can show that there is something for everybody. There is a type of book out there for anybody who is looking to publish books on Amazon. It's not one specific kind of book. It's not one specific kind of series or brand or person that is doing well on Amazon. And I'm so excited about the books that I am going to share with you today because they are in a very popular niche, but they are very simple to make and you do not need to use any kind of special tools if you do not want to. Also, I find that most people seem to be looking for the quickest way to make money publishing books. And a lot of the time I do like to show you that you can see success within a relatively short amount of time. But what I like about this one is that I can show you what is possible when you really take time to build something up to be really substantial and create something that can see a really high level of success. The publisher that is making and selling these books is selling tens of thousands of copies every single month on Amazon alone. And they have done some very specific things to see that success. And that is what I want to share with you today so that hopefully you can take these strategies and apply them to your own books. So what is this niche? Well, it is activity books for kids and more specifically, it's for kindergarten aged kids. So around the age of four to six, this niche is highly popular. And yes, it is also competitive, but I am someone who does prefer to go where the demand is and where I know there are already lots of customers looking for books in that niche. I would rather find a market and then create a book for that market rather than creating a book and then trying to find a set of customers to buy it. First of all, let's just take a quick look at the overall kids activity book niche. You can see it does have a lot of results and ideally you do want to sort of drill down a little bit further into a sub niche within the kids activity book niche. But if we just take a quick look at the types of books that are showing up, the types of BSRs, the bestseller ranks, you can see some, we've got some really, really low bestseller ranks and there is a mix of traditionally published published books like these ones, as well as independently published, which means they are published by a self-publisher through Amazon KDP. So we have some activity books which look like a mix of puzzles. We have activity books targeting airplanes or travel. We have some educational books like this letter tracing, number tracing book. This dinosaur book also has a variety of activities. So coloring, dot to dots, spot the difference. And this niche encompasses a range of different activity books and they can be more on the playful fun side, things like puzzles, mazes, coloring, or other fun activities, or they can be more educational. So with things like learning to write, learning, learning to draw, basic maths, or learning to cut with scissors, that sort of thing. Okay, so let's take a look at these books specifically that I want to show you today, and then we'll get into what this publisher does to make them so successful. Okay, so the brand is this one here, Lucas and Friends. And the first book that actually caught my eye by this brand was this ABC coloring book. And the reason that stood out to me was because of the simplicity of it. Overall, this brand has 20 books, mostly activity books. There is a couple of children's picture books in there and the activity books are a mixture of the fun type of activity book like coloring by numbers or drawing as well as the educational ones like the letter tracing. We've got some maths books and sight word books in here as well. Now I am going to look at just the top five most popular books of theirs just to save time in this video. So any figures that we will eventually go through that I look at in terms of how many books they sell, just keep in mind I'm only talking about five of their books, not the whole 20. So as I said just before, this is the one that caught my eye, this simple ABC coloring book. When we take a look at the inside of it, you're going to see just how simple this book is. And that is basically it. It's a page with the letter A, extremely simple 
illustrations to color in and then there is a second page which has an object starting with that letter then we move on to b there will be another page with another image of an object starting with the letter b so these are some of the most simple basic and easy books anybody could make this type of coloring book. This is their most popular book published in September 2022. So only been published for a little bit over a year, about a year and a half. It's sitting with a bestseller rank currently of 353. For anyone new to publishing on Amazon, a bestseller rank basically just determines the popularity of a book within the Amazon store. So the lower this number, the better. The lower that number, the more books that you're selling. We will go through the bestseller rank in a little bit to work out how many books are selling for each of these. The next best-selling book that they have is a Scissor Skills preschool activity book. And this is a book that kids can just basically learn how to cut. And again, they're very simple, very basic. You have to remember kindergarten aged kids need things big, bold and really simple because they're at that very early stage of learning things. So this book basically just has pages like this where there's some lines. Further in the book, there probably will have some lines that zigzag and things like that. Maybe there's some circles in this book that they can learn to cut out too. But basically, they just take this page and they cut along these lines and try to learn how to cut straight. Published around the same time, end of 2022. And this one also here, their A plus shows a little bit more of what's inside the book. So this one, they can cut out the shape of water melon. There's also some coloring activities that they can participate in as well. We've got some squares and it's just made fun by having some images within the shapes that they need to cut out. This one's bestseller rank is 605. The next most popular book that they have is a word search book. So going back to sort of the more fun type of activities, but also educational too, because at this point, kids are just learning how to spell and how to recognize words. So it's a fun way to do that word recognition. The word searches within this book will be very large print and not a whole lot of words to find. So only six words to find and not a lot of letters are hiding these words because, again, it just needs to be as basic as you can make it. So this one was published mid-2023 and is currently sitting with a bestseller rank of 2,158. The next most popular book they have is this ABC Letters Number and Shape Tracing, so learning how to write. And so it just starts out extremely basic basically just tracing a straight line, some diagonal lines, and then moving on to some more shapes before moving into letters. And this one currently has a bestseller rank of 3,342. And the last book that is the top five, rounds out the top five, is this ABC Tracing Workbook. So another learning how to write book, moving on to be a little bit more advanced once the child has learned the basics of drawing the letter, then they can move on to just repeatedly practicing. Repetition is the best way to learn things, as well as having some fun activities in there as well. And this one was published mid-2022, so it did seem like they published a lot of their books around the same time, but this one has a bestseller rank of 4,201. Now, what we're going to do is go through these bestseller ranks and try to get an estimate of how many books can be selling every single month. So starting with their most popular book, it has a bestseller rank of 353. And if we just pop that into a sales calculator, it's estimating that that book alone is going to be selling over 4,400 copies per month. And I just do that with each of their books. And and with their top five books, once I've worked out the estimated sales based on those bestseller ranks, those five books alone are selling over 10,000 copies every single month. So in terms of strategies that you can use and implement for yourself, the first thing that this publisher has done is really niched down and chosen one type of book and one type of specific customer to target and really went wide within that niche. So in this case, that niche is activity books for kindergarten kindergarten aged children. The second strategy that you can implement that is especially effective with kids is they have created this set of characters. So Lucas and his friends that are featured in every single book. Lucas is also featured on the cover of every single book. Kids love familiarity and if they do find a character they love and that they can relate to, their parents are going to want to provide more books featuring those characters because 
Kids get excited about it and parents want their kids to be excited about learning. Now, what has this publisher done to do this to get these kinds of sales figures that we just looked at? Well, this is actually an interesting one because most of the brands and the series of books that I look at and share in my videos usually have a series of books and they just run Amazon ads and don't do too much else. Sometimes they may be active on some social media, but this publisher has really gone for it with building up this brand. Building multiple streams of revenue for your publishing business and branching out away from Amazon is a really smart idea. I talk about it in a lot of my videos because you just never know what is going to happen with Amazon, whether they're going to stop letting people sell books on Amazon, whether they're going to stop paying royalties, whether your account is going to get terminated for some reason. And so the next strategy that you can implement like this publisher is taking your brand, taking your series books off of Amazon and promote it in other places. Don't just rely on Amazon to sell your books for you and sitting around waiting for customers to come and find your books. And also build up other streams of income related to your books. In one of my recent videos, I talked about beating the Amazon algorithm. And one of the ways that is becoming increasingly more important to Amazon and its algorithm is that you provide customers to Amazon that come from an external site to Amazon to buy your books. That really helps your organic sales on Amazon. But back to this publisher. Firstly, throughout all of their books, they talk about being app developers specializing in children's educational apps. So I actually think that their books are more to promote their apps than their apps are to promote their books. They have built a really detailed website promoting all of their different products, books, and apps that they have available. So they are really establishing themselves as an expert in this niche and as a big player within the kids' educational space as somewhere that parents can go for all sorts of educational materials for their kids. So if we take a look at this website, it talks about their apps, over 30 million kids using their educational apps. The apps seem to be the most important thing as it's the main sort of product shown on their website, but it's showing all the apps that you can download. And then we do have some links to their books. So if we click their book link, it will take us to the books that they have, which directs the customer to go to Amazon to buy them. And so this is an example of providing that off Amazon customer that the Amazon algorithm is looking for. So customers coming from this website onto Amazon to buy the book. We also have a link to a shop. So they're taking it even further. They're creating these additional streams of income and providing physical products. Depending on where you live, you can shop for them on Amazon or you can shop for them directly on their store. We click this shop on our store link. You can shop directly on their store for all sorts of merchandise and products featuring those characters, Lucas and friends. So when kids fall in love with these characters, and they want more stuff, just like any big brand, Bluey, Peppa Pig, any kids TV show has merchandise. And this is the same thing, except instead of being on a TV network, they're on their own website, they're on social media, they're on YouTube and things like that. So just because you're not a big TV show or a big production or brand doesn't mean you can't do the same things that those big companies and big brands are doing. In fact, it is something that you should try to replicate. And those are strategies that you should be trying to bring into your own business to increase income, increase additional streams of income and things like that. At this point, we have seen that this brand is selling books, branded merchandise and providing free educational apps for their customers. So over time, if it's what you want, it becomes more than just selling books. Now let's take a look at what they're doing in terms of promotion for their books and their brand. If we scroll down at the bottom of their website, we can see that they are active across multiple social media platforms. Now you don't have to be active on as many social media platforms as this at the beginning. It's good to start with just one or two, build up from there, focus on one, and then add additional social media platforms when you can handle them. And we're just going to look through each one. Now, it seems like their YouTube channel is where it all started. And of course, this channel 
has been running for over 10 years. They've got over 1 million subscribers. I get it. I know it's not quick and easy creating a YouTube channel like this, but everyone has to start somewhere. And if you are someone who really wants to create this kind of brand, this is just a really great example of one that you can look up to and that you can aspire to. So their YouTube channel has been running since 2011, has a massive amount of views, a massive amount of subscribers. If we head over to Instagram, they are active on their Instagram account, promoting their YouTube channel, promoting their merchandise, promoting their books. They're active on TikTok. TikTok is something I've talked about a lot in the last year and will continue to talk about. It's a really great way to promote books. And we have Facebook. They have a incredible following on Facebook. They've built up 190 4,000 followers. And so the next strategy here that you can implement is taking advantage of these social media platforms and creating an audience and a following away from Amazon so that you have people that you can send to Amazon to buy your books or can promote your other products, your other streams of income to one thing with Amazon is they own the customer. So whoever buys your book, you will never find out who that customer is and you have no way of contacting them to be able to share other books and products with them. So you need to find a way to be able to contact the people that like your books away from Amazon. And lastly, let's see if they are running any ads for their books. And yes, I can see here in the search results that they are running ads for some of their books, this coloring book over here as well. So let's quickly summarize because we've looked at a lot of things in a relatively short video. What is it that this publisher has done that you can also do to create a successful brand of books like this? Firstly, picking and specializing in a very specific niche. Secondly, creating a character or a set of characters that kids can relate to, that they can become familiar with. Third, taking the brand, the promotion of the brand and products off Amazon and creating additional streams of income related to this brand. Fourth, building a following away from Amazon, taking advantage of social media platforms. And lastly, implementing paid advertising to just boost everything, boost the book sales on Amazon and get your books in front of more customers' eyes. It is a lot of work, but hopefully you can see that it can really pay off if you're willing to put in the time and the effort that it will take to create a brand like this. I hope you've enjoyed looking at these books and this publisher and that you are inspired by what they have built. And hopefully you have picked up some strategies that you think could work for you and your books regardless of what niche that you're in. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.